Hey everybody, it's Justice for Comics. It is Wednesday, new comic book day. I'm going to be highlighting books that are coming out next Wednesday, the 23rd of December. Um, not a big week next week, but there's definitely some books that are coming out that look interesting. I'm going to review that now uh, through Midtown site. So let me just zoom in here a little bit and let's go through it one by one. So starting off with Dark Horse. Assassin's Creed Valhalla, Song of Glory, number three. It's a nice looking cover. I mean, I've been watching that since the first issue. Um, haven't been picking it up, but I do notice that the artwork it looks pretty nice. Uh, you Look Like Death, Tales from the Umbrella Academy, number four is out. <clears throat> a couple covers there. Looks like there's three covers. Not much from Dark Horse, that's it. Then some trade paperbacks. From DC, um, Batman Beyond number 50. I think this is the last issue of Batman Beyond. I don't know if they're going to relaunch it at some point, but this is the last issue, issue number 50. Two covers. I prefer the A cover. I believe I pre-ordered that in advance. A cover is awesome by Dan Mora. I would definitely go with the A cover. Um... Batman White Knight presents Harley Quinn number three. I've been pretty much just buying the A covers on that. Um, you got the A cover by Sean Murphy, and you've got a B cover by Scalera. Just been picking up the A covers. I, I, you know, previous series on these Sean Gordon Murphy Black Label, I've been basically previously I've been buying both covers quite a bit, but uh, I've just decided to go with A covers only on this on this series. All right. Moving down the list, uh, Black Adam Endless Winter, one shot. Definitely going with the Boss Logic cover. I'm a little surprised that this hasn't been sold out yet on Midtown. I have a feeling it will. I don't know what the print run on this is, but I would imagine if they were smart, they would have done a lot more B covers <laughs> because the B cover is way better. I mean, that's a cool cover by Boss Logic. I, obviously, Boss Logic is pretty popular. A lot of his stuff does pretty well. All right. Uh, continuing with DC, Detective Comics 1033. I pretty much pre-order all the Bermehu covers. Um, Tomasi does a nice job. It's It's been a good read for a long time. Highly, rec highly recommend Detective Comics. Uh, let's see here. Red Hood number 52. I do like that scan cover. That's definitely worth picking up for the cover. I believe I pre-ordered that. I'm a big fan of Scan's artwork, and that is definitely an awesome cover. Uh, Wonder Woman 769. Um, there's a Middleton cover that looks pretty decent. Not, not what you would normally think of a Josh Middleton, Josh Middleton cover, but um, yeah, I like it. It's interesting. Good coloring there. That does it for DC. Moving on to Dynamic uh, Dynamite Entertainment, Mars Attacks Red Sonia, number five. A lot of covers. I mean, this Arthur Sudam cover is pretty cool. It's an homage to, I think, a movie poster, right? The The Attack of the 50-Foot Woman, I think, is the... <laughs> it's an old sci-fi B-movie, I think. Uh, I think that's where they're getting that from, from an old poster, movie poster. Uh, Vengeance of Vampirella, number 13. Nice Perillo cover. Ben Oliver cover. Yeah, I mean, I don't think the writing has ever been that great on the. I mean, I've bought a lot of Vampirella books, mainly just for the artwork for, for the most part, but. Uh, you know, popular character. A lot of people still. I mean, that's kind of keeping Dynamite Entertainment. Red Sonja and, and uh, Vampirella are definitely keeping that company going. IDW. I don't think there was really anything from IDW that I found interesting. There, I don't know what the Scarant Hood is. I have no idea what this is. Um, there's a second printing for number one. It looks like they're up to issue three already. 
not really familiar with that. Sea of Sorrows number two, that's definitely one that I pre-order every month. Um, Alex Cormack is an awesome artist. Uh, Rich Duack, I believe he also wrote Road of Bones, which was another IDW series that did really well. Uh, there's also a B cover incentive cover, which I kind of dig. I like that cover, so I'm going to grab that incentive cover. I like it. Still available, 10 bucks. It's probably like a 1 in 10 if I had to guess. Uh, Sleeping Beauties, number four. I think that's been a good series. I read the first couple issues. I liked it. I'm not really going to continue with it, but um, I, I thought it was pretty good. Uh, I think that's it for IDW. Image, Department of Truth, number four. Uh, I think I would just go with the A cover. I know there's a couple of incentive covers. This Jeff Lemire cover. I'm not typically a fan of Jeff Lemire, but it's kind of a cool cover. Uh, interesting artwork there. Um, this one's a little weird, too. Kind of strange, but I th think... The, the, I think I would just go with the A cover. Trad Moore, I'm not a real big Trad Moore fan. I mean, I know he's got some detail there, but yeah, I think I would just go with the A cover on that. Uh, Gideon Falls 27, definitely the A cover by uh, Stuart and Sorrentino. That is an awesome cover. I love that cover. Great, it's a great read. I've been reading that since the first issue. There's a Jeff Lemire cover, which, yeah, don't care for that, but. Uh, Ice Cream Man number 22. This is absolute must pick up. I pre ordered both copies. Both covers look awesome. You got the Christmas calendar cover. The. <laughs> this is demented looking, huh? Jesus. Um, yeah, it's just awesome comic book. It's it, probably my favorite image title is Ice Cream Man by far. Uh, Philadelphia. I've not been buying. Marked, I buy occasionally if I like the cover. Eh, this cover's okay. Boy, Haberlin killed it so well in number nine. Uh, he needs to do more covers like that. <laughs> He'd probably get more sales. Uh, I, I've been hearing there hasn't been too many. Uh, Redneck's not doing well on sales. I don't know. Uh, and who the, who is still reading Outcast? I mean, I guess... I don't know. It seems weird. I'm not a big Kirkman fan at all. Um, I just can't believe that that book is still being produced. I don't know anybody that reads it. Uh, Scumbag number three. Um, two covers. Uh, actually, what, three covers? I would just... I don't like landscape cover. I don't like that kind of cover. Uh, I would go with A cover only. Eric Powell. I mean, it's awesome. I would just pick up the A cover on that. Spawn 313, definitely love the A cover. The uh, Christmas theme there. Santa as the clown. Um, this is my least favorite cover. I don't like that cover at all. <laughs> I just don't. That's, that one I wouldn't pick up. Um, I am going to grab the Capullo McFarlane cover here. There's... This is a black and white virgin incentive. I think that's worth picking up. I, don't, I think it's like a 1 in 10. And then you've got the regular A cover, which looks pretty cool too. And I guess this is a new character, Plague Spawn. So first appearance, a key book. Definitely could be one, you know, to grab and hold on to for a while. So I would highly recommend picking those up. Uh, we got Marvel now. I've not been collecting Spider-Man. I have no idea what's going on there. Doctor Doom, I've been purchasing here and there. I've kind of fell off of it after issue six. Um, so I've not really been on top of that. King in Black, number two. I would just pick up the A cover. I know there's a lot of, I mean, there's a lot of incentive covers. There's a lot of uh, store covers as well. I would just get the A cover. King-sized Conan one-shot. Um... I don't know if if there's anything that's going to be introduced. Any new characters. You just never know. So this might be worth grabbing. Um, obviously, the A cover is pretty nice by Andrew Robinson. But I am going to pick up the incentive cover by Jen Bartel. 
It's still available available on Midtown. It's I mean, look at the coloring. I love that cover. It's sweet. It's a one in fifty, so it's you know slightly over a ratio. If you go online right now, eBay they're asking seventy five to eighty dollars. Uh, I even went on Golden Apple. And as you can see, it's market sold out, and they were selling this at $150 a piece. <laughs> wow. That somebody bought, I mean, there must have, I don't know how many they had allocated, but s several people must have bought it out and paid $150 for a 1 in 50. That to me is just crazy. The 1 in 25 sold out. Too. I mean, look at all of them are sold out on Golden Apple. So uh, I don't know. I don't know what to think of it, <laughs> but uh, so I think $54 sounds like a good deal compared to where it's selling everywhere else. Um, I mean, I kind of like the Juice cover as well. He's an old style comic book cover artist. I remember him from all the uh, comic book cards, the Marvel masterpieces. I think he did most of the artwork on a lot of that stuff. Um, but yeah, I think Bart I think the Bartel one's by far that's that's my pick of the week for next week is gonna be this cover and I predict this will sell out sometime today. But so far it's still available. Um uh, Maestro number five. Um I got a feeling this cover could do well, the Becky Clunan cover. That's an interesting image there. I kinda like that better than the regular A cover. Um, you got Spider-Woman number seven, B cover by Peach Momoko. Not sold out, still available, no discount. People might be on to that because of Peach. Star Wars Bounty Hunters number eight, that's been a good series. I've been just grabbing all the A covers, pre-order. Uh, U.S. Agent number two. It's a nice Chichetto cover, that's the regular A cover, that's pretty nice. Uh, several different covers. There's a Raposa, one, probably a 1 in 25 cover. Not sold out still. So that's it for Marvel. Independence, I think is the last thing to review. Um, a Girl Walks Home at Night, number two. Looks like that's sold out. I'm not surprised. The pretty low print run. Behemoth Entertainment. I did grab the A cover. Um, the B cover's not bad either, but I just I think the A cover is going to do better. Uh, and the first the first print number one sold out, and that's like a twenty dollar book now. So um, yeah, I think that's worth grabbing. Uh, that's already sold out at Midtown. Maybe look for that at your LCS. Uh, what else did I see? Vault Comics, Dark Interlude. I don't know anything about that. Usually Vault is pretty good quality comic book, though. Dune, Atreides, number three. Um, I did pick up the first issue. I don't know if I'm going to continue that series. I have to read it first and see if I like it. Haven't had a chance to read it yet. I know there's a TV series coming out from HBO next year. Uh, what else we got? Um... Let me move down the list here. I mean, a lot of books I really don't look at. Picture of Everything Else, number one. This is a Vault comic. Um, a lot of good covers there. There's a couple of incentive covers. I think the B cover kind of looks cool. I'm, a, I'm partial to a red cover anyways. I just think that looks neat with the straight razor and image there in the blade that's pretty cool i like the b cover i think best on that uh rick and morty i don't think anybody buys that anymore something is killing the children 13 i just pre-order all the a covers tinian it's a good series good writing it's been a hot book all the early issues of that book are on fire there is an incentive cover by Franny. I think it's okay. I've I've seen her do much better work though, so I'm not <clears throat> I'm not real impressed with that. Not to spend forty dollars on it, that's for sure. Um, I think that might be it. I think that is it 
for the books that I, yep, that's it. So that's what I noticed on books coming out next um, next Wednesday. So my pick of the week is is this book, the 1 in 50 Jen Bartel variant. I just think it's awesome. Beautiful coloring. And her books tend to do pretty well. And I'm glad I didn't pay $150. <laughs> so $54 sounds a lot better. That's crazy. I don't know who the heck bought this. Um, you got to be real careful buying stuff pre, you know, pre. I mean, I know a lot of the websites sell all this stuff way in advance, but to spend three times ratio to me is insane. Um, when you could just wait, you know, and pick it up out of Midtown for $54. So that's my pick of the week for next Wednesday. If you can get it cheaper than $50, I would definitely look at that. Maybe call your LCS, see if. I mean, I don't know. There's, I don't know a lot of shops that are going to order 50 copies of giant-sized Conan Number One. Uh, I know none of the shops near me would do that. None of them. I mean, they they might order 20 at the most. Um, there's no way they're going to order 50. So, it, even though it is issue number one, um, I just don't see a lot of shops going heavy on a book like that. So, that's my pick of the week for next Wednesday. That's it, guys. Appreciate you. Um, watching my channel. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel, hit the bell for notifications, leave me a comment, let me know what you think. And I will see you guys tomorrow. I will be live for my live stream for Whiskey, Cigar, and Comics right around 5.30. All right. Thanks, guys.